Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be foraging wild bananas off the side of the road. Uh, yesterday I actually made a video of me uh, doing, it was another foraging video. I was going out to see what type of edible, edible wild foods were out there and I just so happened to be riding around with my husband and I saw some banana trees and I was interested to know if they actually had bananas growing on them. And when we actually went out uh, of the car and took a look, it was like like 15, I don't even know, maybe 20 banana trees with bananas, bananas growing on almost all of them. So uh, that video was lost. However, today you guys can still go along with me um, and see what I saw yesterday. And I'll show you a clip uh, or some pictures of the bananas that I harvested yesterday. It's really amazing and not even just bananas. There were fig trees, it was grapes out there. It's a lot, but um, I'm gonna take you guys along this little journey again with me today. So I'm in the car now and there's one thing that I forgot to say is when you're foraging, out and about in your city town or what have you make sure that the trees that you're foraging foraging from are not someone's personal property because you definitely do not want to be found out here pulling food from somebody's trees that are in their yard even if the trees look like they're on the side of the road it might not be just wild trees it might be their trees and it doesn't matter if it's their trees or not, it's on their property and it makes it their trees. So just word of advice when everyone's going out to forage for wild foods. So, this was the road that I was traveling on. As you can see, getting closer to those banana trees. I'll show you guys when I get closer. I found a park. I'm out here with my children. Uh, found a park somewhere close by. So now we're gonna go and walk up here and see these bananas. Woo. Gotta make sure you're safe when you're doing this. Stay out of the uh, way of the cars. We can actually come over here now. Getting closer. Now, make sure you're not like me and wearing flip flops. You don't know if they're snakes. Everybody stay together. So, there are some figs actually over there. They're too far to get, but we harvested some that were closer over here yesterday. But as you can see, let 
me see. Okay, you guys see. So as you can see, there's figs right there. And all of these huge banana trees. Huge. There's figs everywhere, bananas everywhere. You guys stay right here. I'm gonna let the children stay right here until I get a, a view on the camera of all of this and then I'll turn it off and safely let them come around and see. Look at these bananas. See look, it's like in a some type of ditch or something. It's just on the side of the road guys. Some pecans over here. It must be a pecan tree by too. More food. More bananas. That's amazing. I wish you guys can see this how I see it. It is huge. Maybe I'll turn the camera around. Now I'm walking slowly with my children to make sure we're safe I'm going around here so I can show them this wonderful, this wild wonder of bananas. I bet these bananas sprung up from people throwing, sadly, they're trash, but throwing uh, banana peels, or I mean not banana peels, duh, but they're bananas or whatever out here and they just sprung up over time and Probably people not knowing that these are back here. I mean, what happens to them? We don't really have a lot of animals in this, uh, these parts that would really eat these bananas. I wonder if you guys see this, these bananas because it's like green everywhere. So the bananas are green too. So you probably don't notice, but you definitely see that one. Y'all see those bananas? Isn't that amazing? Look at those back there. All right, this is amazing. Big leaf, I got to move out the way. Huge. Look, you guys. This bananas everywhere. Oh, they are believing. I'm not gonna get the leaves, even though they are edible. I'll leave them there. You see those bananas there? See? Uh-uh. Be careful. It's a ditch. Oh, now you guys can see. It's amazing. Well, I just wanted to take you guys to see this. We better be headed back. I already harvested the bananas, like I said earlier. I'll show you guys uh, pictures that I took yesterday. Um, I wish you guys could have saw how we managed to harvest them on the side of this obviously busy street. <laughs> but uh, you guys will get to see the pictures. Um, so yeah. Walking back to the car now. Probably stop by a little park and before I get home actually. There's a nice lake nearby. So maybe you guys can come along with me there before I get home. Oh, 
part here. Guess we can take a walk around this lake before we go home. This is called, let's see. San Luis Mission Park. So this park, it says a public outdoor recreation site development. It was purchased through the land. Wait a minute, I did lost my police. The Land and Water Conservation Fund. Administered by Florida Department of Natural Resources. So this was June 1986. That's pretty nice. That's pretty. Look at those birds. really nice. Hopefully you guys won't have to see the camera move. <laughs> we got the water under the bridge. We should definitely come here more often as it's down the street. <laughs> this looks like the muscle. They'll put some new wood on the bridge at some point. Alright, it is weirdly a satellite down there. I'm not sure what that's for, but. so annoying how people just can't find a trash can to throw away their trash. Looks like someone tried to fish out here in there. Whatever that is from the fish hook there. Oh wow, there's a beaver? People told me that there was one here, but I come here most days and I haven't seen it, but today... Oh! That's amazing! I didn't even know we had beavers here. <laughs> I thought that was just like a pile of sticks that just got there, but no. It's a turtle. It's a little turtle there. Come on, Dad. It looks like something that the beaver would have built. <laughs> if there's a beaver, it looks like it would have built that little thing over here. Amazing. Oh, sure. Oh. Oh, wow. So it has, I never heard of a soft shell turtle. guy was telling us that he saw a beaver out here. He actually showed us some photos that he took of a beaver out here. I've never seen a beaver in person. But that would be neat if I were to catch it on camera, which I kind of doubt. the kid. 
kiddos. We're just taking a little stroll before we get back in the car and go back to the house. spider webs that might be right there in your face. This looks like the end of this little, it's like a short little walk here around the lake. a lot of pecans on the ground. There's a pecan tree somewhere. Might be this tree. This is my nice background here. Love, love nature. that about wraps up my video. I will show the little pictures that I promised you guys of the harvest of bananas and figs yesterday. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. I know I did an outro, but now that I'm home, I actually have never tasted a fig, and I read that you can actually eat them green, and I read that they're actually sweeter green. Now, hopefully that was true information, or I'm gonna look really crazy. However, I'm going to try this big for the first time. So I got my handy dandy knife here. <laughs> Either this big is really hard or this knife is dull. Okay, this big being this hard is making me an unbeliever that you can eat it when it's green. I mean, it's hard as all. That's a new knife, so I know I should still be able to cut it if it's any good. That's ridiculous. Wow, there it is. Whoa. And ice? I think I've been lying to. It's interesting. I don't think these are ready. Even though they said that you can eat them. They don't look ready. Well, so much for that. <laughs> well, guys, I guess this is official goodbye. If anybody knows when you can actually eat figs, because I've never eaten figs before. I know they're edible. I hear they're sweet. This looks disgusting, actually. Uh, I think that it could have spent some more time with a tree, um, which is another good note to have. So, uh, like I said before, um, uh, comment down below, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. P.S. I think I'm going to put these under a grow light as a little experiment to see if maybe they can become, even though we've harvested them yesterday, maybe they will still be able to form under a grow light. I have no idea. It's probably crazy, but have grow lights all over here maybe so never know probably put them under a pink led light and i'll show you guys on another video how that went Alrighty, see you later we shall see